Hi everyone! Good morning from New Jersey. My name is Mary Ann. Welcome back to our channel. And if you are new, welcome. Welcome aboard. And it is cloudy this morning. Well, I am here outside in the garden and I'm going to show to you everyone something exciting this morning here in the garden. So without further ado, let's check. We are going to check the melons here inside the garden. Let's check something here. This pepper is so big. Where is that? That pepper there. I'm not sure how many inches. Maybe half a foot. And this pepper is purple. So still green. So you have to wait until it turns purple. Oh, there's another tiny baby uh watermelon i'm going to put the cardboard in this under the watermelon this one i've been doing uh, under my watermelon and under also the melon because it you know the bugs here we go and i have another watermelon here look at that I have a lot here in this area look there are three in here here we go one two three I have several here so excited I'm so excited hopefully this well the foot will turn right there's another big one this is Crimson sweet watermelon. Let's check big ones here. Oh, before that, let's check the peppers. This is what kind of yummy orange. Still green. So we have to wait until they turn orange. And this is big red pepper. It has a sm it has peppers in there, but they're still small. Like yeah, it will be red when it's fully mature but you can harvest when it is still green let's find a big watermelon look here's another watermelon let's find a big one it's hard here because it's getting so crowded here look look at that that's watermelon that's uh, watermelon. Here we go. Let's look around. Let's see if I can find a really big one. I just watered this this morning. Here we go, another one. I use a dripping hose here. In that way, I can avoid watering the leaves because the plants doesn't like their leaves get wet. They will get some kind of disease. There's another one there. Oops. Here's a big one here. This is big. I think this is the biggest. Maybe. That one there. And there's smaller one there. Oh, there's a baby one. Teeny tiny, look. <laughs> oh, there's another big one. Wow. This area here has two next to each other. Look. These are all crimson sweet watermelon here. And another one. Another baby there. Another small one there that's one all good oh I have to put the cardboard here and I have another one there 
And now, in this area here, which is also another variety of watermelon, I think this is, oh, I can't remember. I have here tender sweet orange. Uh, there's another one, I can't remember. I will write it down. Uh, but these plants here, I saw a tiny one, but seems like late. I'm afraid this will be late for watermelon because they are still very tiny. Look, there's a tiny one there. I didn't see big ones in these plants here up. Unlike the other one there, this crimson sweet are much bigger. But I plant this watermelon earlier than the crimson sweet. Here's my Swiss charge. I have here honeydew, honeydew and melons. Here we go. Look at this. Look at that fruit. Exciting. And there's another one. I have several here. They're already big. I have here yellow Swiss chard. Oh, here's another one. Look. Look. That's a melon. I can't. I'm not sure what variety though. Another melon. But I know I have. I have honeydew here because of the, uh, how do I know if it's honeydew because of the skin, this one here. The honeydew has smoother skin, the skin is smooth, whereas the melon is much rougher. That's another one there. I'm kind of thinking what variety of this melon here. I know I plant either green or orange honeydew. Oh, this is another honeydew here. What? I need to put... That's a honeydew. I need to get a cardboard to put under the fruit or else the bugs. And let's walk in this area here. Because I have more melons here. I have here honey rock. We have a lot of fruits too. Look, I had we had honey rock last year. It was so sweet. Look, that's honey rock. Honey rock melon. I have lots in here. Honey rock melon. We've been planting melons for a couple of years now, and. We always have good harvest every year. Every year. That's another melon. It's worth it. I can see. Here we go. The first variety that I plant was uh, it was a hybrid. Uh, I can't remember the name. And it was so sweet. Hybrid and Mildew resistant. I have several here. Here's another one. I have lots of fruits here. Oh, here's another one. That one there. And let's find in this area here. This is Honey Rock. And this area here is Hale's Best. They have different shapes. This one, Hale's Best, is kind of oblong. Let's move here so I can show it to you. Here we go. Here they are. And the color is like darker. This is Hale's Best. Where's the rest? I have several here. There's another one there. Two of them in that area. Where are you? I can't see. Covered by the leaves. And more here. More here. 
And here we go. There's another one here. So the garden is really blooming and the vines of this melons and watermelons are re really spreading compared to a couple of weeks ago which was just barely in this garden here but now it's difficult to walk there in the middle you can't walk in there or else you step the plants and this volunteer tomato here look at that tons tons the truss is just the truss has a lot of fruits and blooms this one is another volunteer tomato and I have another volunteer tomato here and it has a lot of fruits and blooms this is another volunteer look at the truss the truss of the tomato this is called a truss where the fruits and vegetable are the fruits and the blooms attach this is a truss and that truss has lots of branches this is just one truss one truss alone that's tons in there and i like here in the garden oh there's another that's more fruit in there and I have here more cucumber plants. They are so small because as I said earlier, I stagger planting my cucumbers so I don't have to have a harvest all at once. And here's my soccer tomatoes. I got these tomatoes from my tomatoes up there. I have tomatoes there the first time that I checked, the, we harvest some tomatoes, that's the original tomato plants, I have five there. And then what I did was, I keep the suckers, and here they are, not all of them, but some of the suckers, and I plant the suckers, and here they are. Like this one, it has already fruit. This is a sucker. And this is just a volunteer dill. And this is another sucker plant. I think this is sugary. And my guess is this is maybe the champion. Champion to tomato. I have a volunteer pepper plant. <laughs> and I have a volunteer pak choy. And this is another sucker plant. I'm not sure if this is sun gold or champion. It seems like it's champion. Or maybe sun gold. I'm not sure because it seems like the truss is long. The champion, the truss is not very long. This is sun gold, definitely. I can tell it. So I have several sucker plants here that are producing. And again, I put a string going up as the plant grows I just uh, what's called it twirl this I wrap around this string into the plant so the plant can stay upright so that when there is storm the plant will not fall to the ground the string is going to support the plant and I have here this is really I don't know where's this eggplant seeds come from but these are volunteer eggplants I didn't plant eggplant in this area here last year I plant tomatoes in this area here now I have that eggplant volunteers three of them so I guess this video is already very long sorry <laughs> but I'm just having a good time here in the garden thank you everyone Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please hit that bell icon so that you will not miss any video from us. I am so busy this time, but I like to be here outside too in the garden. I am so busy because I am cleaning the house and getting rid of many things.
Look at that watermelon. I just want to show to you again this watermelon. Look at that, guys. Come on. There we go. I'm cleaning and clearing the house. All the things in the house has to go. So here it is, the garden. And, oh, in this bed, remember I had uh, two rows of carrots here. We had a good time with those carrots. Good harvest. I can't complain. Very good. I'm thinking of half of this bed I'm going to plant more carrots and then the other half maybe radish turnips what else kurabi I have purple kurabi they're so pretty I like the purple and that's it everyone <laughs> I keep saying that's it and I, I'm still busy talking here's my volunteer petunia plants all of these plants are volunteer yes because several years ago i had a lot of petunia plants around the house hanging baskets but this year i didn't plant any petunia they are just volunteers very nice volunteers i'm so happy with that <laughs>